All right, Shalom. <clears throat> really good. It's the last coming in the weekend. We got problems in the downfall of America and society. Starting off, I want to give all praise, all honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Yahweh is a truly powerful name who the word ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. Yahweh Shai is a truly powerful name who the word ignorantly calls is Jesus. By Hashem means in the name of Rokha, Kodash, Holy Spirit, Lulu, Shanta, Spirit, Holy, Rokha, Rokha, Spirit, Kodash, Holy. I want to get double honest to my elders and apostles, great millstone, rule well and teach well and be a great example to us younger brothers. And peace, blessed are the full echo, well, I'm part of the number. I'm the brother Kodar from the GMS Brown Chicago. We'll come back with another video. And this video is just going to be about you know, another history video about uh, Saturnalia. All right, because we know this, you know, the God, you know, the God, the, the, the Saturn God worship, you know, which is all idols, man. All right. <clears throat> but, you know, this is many things that's incorporated with this, this, this whole lie thing. You know, uh, which is called Christmas, man. All right. And, you know, celebrated by the Romans, of course. All right. But it, it stands back to Babylon, you know, then these other, you know, kingdoms, you know, uh, inherited it, so to say. All right. Along with Mithraism and, um, uh, damn, I forgot the rest. You know, but, <clears throat> yeah, man. Hey, you know, this is a big stumbling block for our people because, you know, they believe that this is the Lord, <laughs> this is the Lord's birthday, man. You know, <clears throat> hey, and it, it, the, the scripture is completely con contrary to that, man. You know, showing you these people just, hey, they just going with what they was taught. You know, uh, <clears throat> Saturnalia held, held in mid December as an ancient Roman. So let me take this recording. All right, here we go. As a Saturnalia held in mid December as an ancient Roman pagan festival honoring the agriculture of God Saturn. All right, which is which is an idol, man. You know, and the scripture said, "Follow not the way of the heathen." This is the heathen, man. All right. Saturnalia celebrations are the source of many of traditions we are now associated with Christmas, man. All right. <clears throat> Saturnalia, the most popular holiday on ancient Roman calendar, derived from the old farming rather. Related rituals of midwinter and the winter solstice, solstice, especially the practice, the offering gifts or sacrifice to the gods during the winter sowing season. All right, and that's Jeremiah the tenth chapter. You know, it completely cuts that. <clears throat> the pagan celebration of Saturn, the Roman god of agriculture, and time began as a single day. You know, and showing you the, hey, you know, these heathens. You know, they got the god of this, they got the god of that, but we all know these false gods, man. All right. Hey, our guy, Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh, I see my shot. He got everything, man. All right. Um, began as a single day, but the late Republic went from 133 BC to 131 BC. It had expanded to the week long festival beginning on December 17 on the Julian calendar, which the Romans used at the time. The winter solstice fell on December 25th. <coughs> How the Romans celebrated Saturnalia. During Saturnalia, work and business come to a halt. Schools and courts, courts, courts of law enclosed, and the normal social patterns were suspended. Do they not do that now? You know, people decorated their homes with reefs and other greenery and shed their traditional togas in favor of colorful clothes known as censuses. Even slaves did not have to work during Saturnalia, but were allowed to participate in festives, festivities in some cases. They sat at the head of the table while their master served them, you know, completely, you know, uh, switching the, the role of everything. Instead of working, Romans spent Saturnalia gambling, singing, playing music, festing, socializing, and giving gifts to each other. All right, and that, and that don't even cover half of it, man. They, they just covering the, the, you know, the happy, jolly shit, man. You know, the shit that they really used to do. You know, they, they, they used to sodomize the fuck out of each other, man. Run around with, with masks on, and you see that they got the mask parties today, man. Ain't nothing new under the sun, man. You know, running around in circles, you know, sodomizing each other, man. You know, ravishing one. They used to do that, man. All right? And they, and they still do that today. Hey, look at the, the, the Bohemian Grove, man. All right? You know, Epstein Island, et cetera, man. All right? Just because they don't talk about it don't mean it don't happen, man. We know who's in charge. Um, it says, wax tape, wax tape, 
taper candles called Sirai were a common gifts during Saturnalia to signify light returning after the solstice. On the last day of Saturnalia, celebrations known as Sigillaria, many Romans gave their friends and loved ones a small terracotta figurine known as Sigillaria, which may have referred back to older celebrations involving human sacrifice. Salonita was by far the jolliest Roman holiday. The Roman poet Catullus <coughs> famously described it as the best of time. So, right, so riotous were the festivities that the Roman author plainly reported built a soundproof room so he, that he could work during the raucous celebrations, man. Constructed in the 4th century AD to replace an earlier temple, the Temple of Saturn in Rome served as a ceremonial center, center of, la of later Saturnalia celebrations. Locky, I'm reading too fast. On the first day of the festivities, a young pair will often be publicly sacrificed at the temple. <laughs> this shit's some damn folly, man. All right? Hey, who the fuck sacrifices a pig, man? You know? <laughs> man. Um... So like, let me get this precept real quick. Psalm 96 and, uh, Psalm 96 and 4, for Yahweh is great and is greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all God. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. So the Lord controls everything, man. All right, he don't have a God of the sea that he specifically set up to, you know, rule the sea, the God of the air, to set up to rule in the air. No, the Yahweh Shimashai controls everything, man, you know? Hey, a pig is a pig is an abomination to the Lord, man. All right, that's why if you if you have pork in your food, you're supposed to throw the whole thing away. You don't take the pork off and eat it. The whole thing is polluted, man. All right, <clears throat> sacrifice of a damn pig, man. All right, you know the heathen, man. <laughs> you know, um. The coat statue of Saturn, you know, this is a coat. Of Saturn in the temple traditionally had woolen bonds tied around his feet, but during Saturnalia, these bonds were loosened to symbolize the god's liberation. In many Roman households, the mock king was chosen, this, I'm not reading that shit, or leader of Saturnalia, sometimes also called the Lord of Misrule, usually a low, lowlier member of the household. This figure was responsible for making a mischief during the celebration, insulting guests, wearing crazy clothes, chasing women and girls, eat to see. <clears throat> the idea was that he ruled over chaos rather than the normal Roman order. The common holiday custom of hiding coins or other small objects and cake is one of uh, many dating back to Salinadia, as this was a method of choosing a mock king. So now Salinadia led to Christmas, thanks to the Roman Empire conquest and Britain and the rest of Europe from the 2nd century BC to the 4th century AD and their suppression. Of older seasonal rites practiced by the Celts, which were, which were Jake. Those are our people, you know, celebrating these dumbass customs, man. All right? During the, the quote unquote dark ages. <laughs> and other groups today, Western culture derive many of their traditional celebrations of midwinter from Saturnalia. The Christian holidays of Christmas, especially, owes many of its tradition to the ancient Roman festival, including the time of, of year. Christmas is celebrated. The, the Bible does not give a date for of Yahushua's birth. All right, with, with yes, you know they don't give an exact date. You know, like well, um, well we we know that the Lord was born around the springtime. All right, because the shepherd was looking after they 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 flock at night. You know, and and the winters over there. You know that shit is too cold, man. They're not gonna be over there doing it. You know. Um, let me keep reading. Some theologians have concluded that he was probably born in spring as suggested by reference to shepherds and sheep in a nativity story. Right, exactly, man. You know, by the 4th century AD, Western Christian churches sat on celebrating Christmas on December 25th, which allowed them to incorporate the holiday with Saturnalia and other popular pagan cup midwinter tradition, which was done, you know, after the Council of Nicaea, you know, by like Constantine, which was an Israelite, you know, during the Holy Roman Empire because our people took over. You know, because Esau, the so-called white man, you know, uh, you know, went into them caves, man. You know, that deadly wound. 
you know, and came back in that daily wound was healed during the Renaissance period. And Renaissance means rebirth. You know, rebirth is rebirth is uh, you know, his power, man. You know, his empire. You know. It says, um, the first recorded day of, of Christmas being canceled on December, being celebrated on December 25th was at 336. All right. During the time of Roman Emperor Constantine, which he was a nigga, he was an Israelite. All right. He incorporated, you know, uh, you know, the, the worship, you know, celebration of Easter, you know, dad got the fish God, which is mentioned in second Samuels. All right. You know, the Pope got it showing you it's all, hey man, these are all false prophets, man. All right. You got the the cross, worshiping on the cross, you know, which that's back in Babylon as well. All right. He incorporated all that into the, you know, so-called Christianity, man. You know. What the what the fuck what the fuck is so special about a cross that you want to worship it, man? You know? What makes you what, what the hell makes you think the Lord want? Man. I'll, I'm just gonna keep reading, man. During the time of the Roman Emperor Constantine was the first Christian Roman emperor. You know, he really wasn't. He was, you know, he was really into that Mithraism. You know, and I forgot to mention that as well, Mithraism, you know. But he disguised himself, you know, as being a, a quote-unquote Christian. You know, he was like a politician. That, that means that none of the New Testament apostles ever kept the Christian to the tradition of today, man. Exactly. All right. It says Nimrod... Had, tr had a tremendous influence on the world religion, all right? It all began in Babylon, all right? C uh, Christmas, Easter, the Trinity, all right? Name this Lord, worship the cross, use their worship, the hellfire doctrine. Hell is not real, man. Soul immortality, which your soul is, it, your soul is immortal. Purgatory, um, Sunday and sunrise worship, infant baptism, and the list goes on, man, all right? I'm going to get this. In ancient Rome, the celebration of Salamedia took place December and included feasting, gift giving, all right, and, and, and un <laughs> uninhibited sex, man. Then the Christians adopted it, took the sex out, and turned it to Christmas, Christmas all right? Christmas taking the fun out of holidays for over 2,000 years now, man. It says, public notice, Christmas was illegal in the U.S. until 1836. It was considered an ancient pagan holiday, man. It says, on December 25th, people believe they are selling on the birth of Hamashiach, when in fact they are glorifying the birth of Nimrod, which Nimrod was mentioned in Genesis, the, um, I believe the ninth chapter. He was a Hamite. All right? <clears throat> a so-called African. You know, the birth of Nimrod, also known as Molech and Baal. All right? Jeremiah 10 and... And one, hear the word which Yahweh was speaking to you that O house of Israel, thus said, thus said, will learn not the way of the heathen. All right, learn, never learn their way, man. All right, because they, they, they not separate, they not set apart, you know. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the custom, that's going into something else. For the, for the custom of the people are vain. For one cut a tree out of the forest, the work out of the, the work of the hand of the workman with the axe, and who does that? They do that for Christmas. They deck it with silver and gold. Now they that now they, they rarely do it with gold now, but they just deck it with those red ornaments, man. They fasten it with nails and hammers. They're moving up, man. You know, you got your parents moving up. You got your parents, you know, uh, as you as a little kid moving you up so you could nail it, you know, so it won't move, man. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also as in, in, in them to do good, man. All right? You know, I, you know, I want to really just want to end it there. You know, roll when I got the gist of it. You know, this is not, this is not biblical, man. This is this is heathen, this is heathenistic. All right. But uh, um, I want to give all praise, all honor, glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shab by Shemel Kakudash, that one to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, Shalom, and the Baba Bar. And it's eleven forty-four, man. Call Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shab.